Hey y'all! Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm Robin and today we have another installment of Book Ends. It is the series on my channel where I try to put an end to all of the unread books on my TBR. If you know, my goal for this year is to get to 115 unread books on my unread TBR. I think at the beginning of the year I started at 136. Um, and so yeah, we're just trying to make our way through 115. And I always feel so bad at this particular bookends because I do this quarterly, so three months at a time. And this one always ends in June, literally the day before my birthday. So you guys don't even get to see my birthday book haul until September. And I'm just like, I, I feel like I should give the people what they wanna see, but then it would just throw my book ends off so I just have to wait until September but just know just know that uh it's not bad my birthday book haul it's not bad but it's not gonna help me it's not doing me any favors it's not so with that said let's get into this round of bookends um i also said at the beginning of the year that i was going on a low spend um and as you'll see i just that went out the fucking window so yeah let's get into this so last time we started at 127 books on my unread tbr i was doing so good in the first quarter of the year. And this one, well, let's talk about the things that I bought in April. So in April, I only bought two things. I bought Funny Story and I bought Book Lovers by Emily Henry. I was doing a vlog where I read all of the Emily Henry. I read them with the exception of Beach Read because I had read that before, but I read everything else. I rank them. I rank the boyfriends. If you want to watch that, I will link it in the cards or down below. But I bought that. I actually had Funny Story pre-ordered, so I knew that was coming to me. And by the time I, it was like making its way, I had decided I might as well just read all of them. And then that's where Book Lovers came in. So I just picked this one up too. <sighs> so that was it. Off to a bang and start. Only bought two books. I, I guess to continue on with Emily Henry, in April, I was reading for that vlog, so I read People We Meet on Vacation, Happy Place, and Funny Story. And then for another vlog where I was reading the lowest rated books on my unread TBR, and lowest rated for good reason, um, <laughs> no, I was reading my lowest rated book of the month books, but still lowest rated for a reason, but I read Did You Hear About Kitty Carr by Crystal Smith-Paul. I wanted to throw a Harris in there, but that's not her name. But Did You Hear About Kitty Carr by Crystal Smith-Paul, Imposter Syndrome by Kathy Wang, and The Cartographers by Peng Shepard. I read, like I said, I read all of those for my lowest rated book of the month books, and if you're interested in that one, also listed. So, with those all out of the way, that was everything that I read for my unread shelves in April. I think I'm off to like a bang and start. Like I'm under 127. I've already basically crossed off those two books I bought at the beginning of the year. So we're gonna move into what comes after April? May. We're gonna <laughs> we're gonna go into May. So in May, I read a couple of things. One of which was book lovers by Emily Henry to finish out that vlog. So I bought this in April, read it in May, yay me. Also, I had my buddy read with Ray, which was sort of Kaigen by ML Wang, read this. I also had kind of uh, an unplanned and unexpected buddy read with a couple of friends. And that was Wuthering Heights by Emily Bronte. And I'm so glad I read this because I have not been reading classics on my shelves but this year it's might be the year for me so read Wuthering Heights and then I also read off of my shelf Dating Dr. Dill by Nisha Sharma and yeah I read it kind of well I DNF'd it we don't talk about it 
So that was everything that I read in May off of my shelves. Still off to a very good start, except however, comma, I got a little sad <laughs> in May. And I thought, you know what would make me feel better? The thing that always makes me feel better, and that is buying a ton of books and yeah, I'm waiting for them to come to me. And then when I open them, I have this boost of serotonin and then I'm not sad anymore. Cause that, that's how buying things works. I guess I could have like bought other things, but for some reason I bought books. Doesn't really matter why. Anyway, let's get into the books that I did buy. One book that I did buy that um, I also bought multiple from this author, but does not count towards this. This is just something that I wanted on my shelves because I'd read it already and I just want to have all of her books. But that is Certain Dark Things by Sylvia Morena Garcia. I read this last year, 2021. I don't remember. I think it was last year. No, I think it was 2021. No, I think it was 2022, because I don't know what year it is. Time, it's not real, it doesn't matter. But I have certain dark things. This does not count for or against or anything because I've already read it. It's not on an unread shelf. It's just something for me to have, potentially annotate later in life. But anyway, that was a long way to say it doesn't count. I just wanted to show you I bought it. But also by Sylvia Morena Garcia, I bought Untamed Shore and I got Velvet Was the Night. And then I was like, well, you know, I need a little romance in my life. So I picked up some Abby Jimenez. I have not read from her before. So I got Part of Your World and Yours Truly. So these two, I was going to say should be a fun time, but I've heard people saying they cry and like, giving Emily Henry, honestly, which I love Emily Henry, but like, do I want to cry or do I just want to have a fun time squealing and kicking my little heels up? You know what I mean? We'll see. Oh, you know what? I do have one author that I only bought one of, and that was A Curious Beginning by uh, Deanna Rayburn. And I ended up trying to be responsible. I was like, I'm only going to buy the first one in case I don't like the entire series. And then, but this logic goes out the window real fast in like a couple of seconds. But this, I got, I picked this one up and yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what else to say about it. But in true Robin fashion, when I say I'm like, oh, I don't want to get the whole series in case I don't like it. I ended up picking up the entire Live Ship Traders series by Robin Hop. Do I like the first one? I don't know. I haven't read it. But uh, yeah, so I've got Ship of Magic. I have Mad Ship and I have Ship of Destiny. So that only buying the first book in case I don't like it. Theory just, it didn't make sense. So any who's it, I have plans to start this uh, series this year, me and Jess are going to be reading Ship of Magic. Um, I think we're going to start in like the next week or so. So by the time you've seen this, I may have already started Ship of Magic. So like, go me. Probably. I know you're thinking, Robin, this, this keeps going. Yeah, it does. It does. I'm so sorry. May, I just, I said, sad equals books. So sorry. Um, but these are the last couple of books I bought in May and that is the rest of the Ryeria Revelations, right? Yeah, Ryeria Revelations from Michael J. Sullivan. Ray and I read the first one the beginning of the year and we really, really, really liked it. And then I was like, we must continue. Um, so I have Rise of the Empire, oh, just Rise of Empire. I feel like the should be in there somewhere, but I'm not a title writer. Um, so we have Rise of Empire and then we also have Heir of Novarin. And I think we're going to be able to finish that this year. So, I mean, they're chunkier books because they're actually two in one, but nothing that we can't handle. I've read bigger over my time. I just showed you the last ship trader. So 
if I can read those, I can, I was gonna say, I can read anything. That is a lie. That is a bold, bold-faced lie. But that's what I, that's what I bought in, in um, what do you call it? May. <laughs> Why can't I remember month names? Um, so that's what I bought in May. It has taken me over my original 127 that I was at at the beginning of this quarter. And we're gonna see if I can try to get that down. So we're gonna move on to June, where I did read a few things, but not a lot of things. I read A Curious Beginning, which is something that I picked up in May. So I'm, you know, at least I feel like I'm doing a good job of reading some of the books that I've picked up in previous months instead of letting them linger on for a long time. So I read it, I picked it up, and I read it. Good for me. And then something else was Nevermore, The Trials of Morgan Crow by Jessica Townsend. This is the very first one in the Nevermore series. I think it's called the Nevermore series. Um, but I read the first one in June. I had a good time. And then last but not least of the things that I read in June was Warbreaker by Brandon Sanderson. This has been on my TBR since I want to say the beginning of the year. I was like I'm going to read Sanderson this year and like make my way through his works and I was like okay I'm gonna start Warbreaker. That was in January. I haven't gotten to Sanderson until just now in June. Uh, so yeah read it go me and I'm glad that this is I think it's a standalone I, I don't know if he's writing more in this particular world but I think it's a standalone let me know if it's not if it's not it still is in my brain that was gonna be it I promised it was gonna be it and then Jessica you know her as Jess Owens your neighborhood community correspondent um she strong-armed me she said we're gonna read these or else okay she may not have said it like that um but I feel like it would it felt like that to me you know what I mean and then she said you get her get those books or else and so because I I felt like I had no choice um I got them so speaking of Sanderson um I got uh books two through four of the Stormlight Archives. Book five comes out uh, later this year, I think either at the end of November. I think it's December, actually, the beginning of no December. Um, have I read the first one? No. But she said we were going to read it. So, Jessica. Yes, I'm using your full name. Jessica, do not disappoint me. We we better make our way through this. Um, actually on her Patreon, she has a read-along going and a Stormlight Archive read-along going. We've started reading Wave Kings. Well, they have. I have not. I, I am, before the month is out, before July is out, I will have, I will have read the Wave Kings. You, Put money on that take it to the bank <laughs> but uh let's talk about these big chunky books that i got because of jessica um so i have <laughs> words of radiance oathbringer the rhythm of war so if you are on this journey with me looking at the numbers go up and down on this little uh, bookshelf here. You know that I am well over, not well, I'm, I'm just a little over my original 127. And considering I bought quite a few things, um, that's, not, that's not bad. Oh, hey Blair, puppy, say hi. Say hi, people. He doesn't care. Um, but yeah, you'll see. I'm over. Is there time for me to still get to 115 by the end of this year? Absolutely. I think I can do it. Probably. Ah, is my birthday book haul gonna just take me way over? I don't think so. I think I could do it. Yes. 
Yes, we can. Yes, we can. And we will. And we will. But that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed going on this book ends journey with me. We've been on it for like two, three years now. Oh, time. It flies by when you're not reading the books on your shelves and you continuously come back here to never be near your goal. <laughs> yep. So on that note, that's all I have for you guys today. How are you guys doing reading the books off your shelves? Are there any books that I bought that you're like screaming at me? You've got to get to it. Let me know down below in the comments. And until next time, bye.